Governor Abbott is calling on state lawmakers to make it a crime for parolees to take off their ankle monitors. The governor's statement comes after a new report from the Texas Department of Criminal Justice on the murders of two Methodist hospital employees. Fox Wars' Lori Brown, live in Dallas with the story. Lori. Grace, the governor's letter to the lieutenant governor and speaker of the House argues that changes to Texas law could prevent murders in the future like that of two Dallas Methodist Hospital employees. The suspect was a parolee who had previously violated orders not to remove his ankle monitor. Is your name Nestor? Yes, it is. Is that correct? Four months before the murders of two Methodist Dallas Medical Center employees, nurse Annette Flowers and social worker Jacqueline Pakua, Carrollton police recorded Nestor Hernandez <laughs> under arrest for removing his ankle monitor, a parole violation, but not a new crime. A parole board voted to place Hernandez in an intermediate sanction facility for three months. Just weeks after his release, police say he committed the murders at Methodist Hospital. In my opinion, this is a failure of our criminal justice system. Governor Abbott agreed with that assessment from Police Chief Eddie Garcia and asked for a report by the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. That report found lapses in Texas law. Governor Abbott says he wants state lawmakers to make it a crime to remove an ankle monitor. Former prosecutor and criminal defense attorney Toby Shook, who is not involved in this case, explained how much that matters. Unless he could make a very high bond, he would be incarcerated and the crime couldn't have happened. Shook says prosecutors missed an opportunity to seek a longer sentence with Hernandez in 2015. Nestor uh, Hernandez is a perfect example. Uh, he, back when he got this eight-year sentence, had already been to prison twice, which meant, uh, on the, and he was charged with the first three felony. And with Hernandez's violent history, Shook says he would have qualified for an enhanced penalty if subsequently convicted under an ankle monitor law. His minimum would have been 25 years in prison if he had proceeded to trial and was convicted. In Governor Abbott's letter, he also called on law enforcement to prioritize the arrest of parolees who violate conditions of their parole. Clarice.